Class is called to order. <laughs> it's nice to see everybody here. Vernon Koch is the sous chef today. He's the county board chair of the county board supervisor. So he's a county board supervisor. What district? Eight. Eight, which is where? Um, southeast Sheboygan. Southeast, okay. From High Avenue South through... And I, I met him because I'm a county board supervisor district for Washington school area. So I thought, sous chef, aha. And Vernon said, yes. Thank you, Vernon, thank you. Francoise Pietzner is here helping. Candace Pitts is here helping. Peggy, who I always call Sue. Wonder how that works. Peggy Sue, Peggy yeah. Sue, <laughs> Watson. And Faith Gruber, yes. So we will have lobster bisque over there. We will have Manhattan clam chowder here because the four presidents who were born in February, George and Abraham, we all know that, but then it was also William Henry Harrison who lived for a month and Ronald Reagan. I looked up what foods they like. They all liked corn pancakes. So we're having corn pancakes. I'll make a demo here, but we have them already prepared. And with the corn pancakes, there will be a vanilla, you have this recipe, this vanilla sauce that I thought would never work. Cream, sugar, vanilla, and butter. That's it, all cooked together, you will love it. But to make it a little more interesting, we're going to heat some bourbon and add it to the vanilla sauce. Cherry's Jubilee in honor of George. So we will bring out the ice cream. Vernon, can you dump that pot can. into that? Oh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. We're gonna do the flames first and then pour the cherries on it. Don't let me do it backwards. Okay, I won't. <laughs> That's right, okay Vernon, let's, well. Oh, we do have power again, okay. And the firemen are not here. Then I will. That's all right. That's all right. We'll, we'll do just. Them. Yep. We'll do. We'll wait for a little while. Then we'll do it. Okay. Let's go down to the corn cakes. Now, I did the preliminary on your recipe, resting overnight. The cornmeal, the water, and yeast. Well, it's been yeasting since Friday. <laughs> Please, <baby>. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> But this is just the demo. We have many of them made for you. I'll add the ingredients if you'll keep stirring. I think I have a... And I bought oyster crackers to go into our clam chowder, Manhattan clam chowder, and into our lobster bisque, which is very New England. The oyster crackers have nothing to do with oysters whatsoever. They're shaped a little bit like an oyster, but I thought, we should have those today. All right, what do I have to add here? Another cup and a quarter of cornmeal. Oh, let's put it all in. Okay, and some, yep, yep, with that. Some salt, let's get some salt. Carefully measured, a little bit of sugar. and one egg, and a can of creamed corn, which I do not have. I put all the cans of creamed corn into the corn cakes that you're going to eat. What did I have to add here? Egg. egg, thank you. Let's put it. You can crack them on the edge, but it works better just to do it like that. I only got a little piece of shell in there. <laughs> a little crunch. Okay. Let's see how wet that gets. <laughs> it's got to rest again. <laughs> we'll go on to the next food. It is very dry. I'm going to put some water in there. When I made these at home to test them, the corn cakes sort of held together, 
but not well at all. They broke apart a lot. So in order to make it stay together as a pancake, <laughs> this is the fancy bisquick, right? Oh, mother used that bisquick a lot when we were kids. Actually, I do not know what she made with bisquick, but she always had bisquick. Isn't bisquick like all those impossible pies? Maybe so. Well, I was a kid long before those impossible pies came around. Maybe when we had pancakes, it was just bisquick. Okay. Let's try, we'll let that rest. Maybe your mom okay. did it just with flour and her own, you know. Bisquick? No, I saw the box. Oh, you saw the box. Okay. When mother and dad left the farm, on the Minnesota River Valley, and they came to Chippewa Falls to work in a factory. Dad left his rifle and everything. He said, I've hunted enough pheasants and caught enough fish. I'm going to buy my food from now on. <laughs> and they were so glad to find a grocery store in Chippewa Falls. And it was Bisquick, canned pineapple, cream of tomato soup. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We'll start with that. Let's see, a little bit of oil onto the griddle. Olive oil, vegetable oil, butter, you choose. Just bacon drippings, lard, shortening. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it's making a sizzle. Can you do that, Vernon? I can do that. All right, good. The lobster bisque. Lobster shells, onions, celery, two cloves, bay leaf, peppercorns, and chicken broth simmered together. It says 30 minutes. I, I did it a lot more than 30 minutes. But the lobster bisque, I added the soft butter and flour and milk, nutmeg. Can you crank that into the lobster bisque over there? Just a, three or four or five cranks. And of course you can use powdered nutmeg. It just looks a little more cooking class to have the crank, doesn't it? <laughs> now, the lobster. Okay, these are cooked. And I have to get the lobster meat from the shell. And sometimes that's enough, but then I have to use the scissors to cut out this part. And what I did before is I took this lobster meat out of the shells and put the shells into the pot to make broth. Because lobster, shrimp, clams, all of that, if that seafood is cooked too long, it is tough and dry, quickly. It barely needs to be heated and it's done. Now doing lobsters outdoors works pretty good. At a fancy restaurant, this is not fun to do because you know you will not be using your fingers in the fancy restaurant to rip apart the lobster. I used to do catering for a family that on... When is the Kentucky Derby? May. 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 Okay. Well, they always had a party with fresh lobsters and... Everyone was dressed up, lots of melted butter, but we in the kitchen did all this. As I said, lobster, clams, boiled shrimp, all of that works better outdoors with your everyday clothes. So for this pot of soup, how many do you use? I think I probably had a dozen. But that's for all of us. Correct. Here, this recipe would be just two then? Yep. Correct. Yep. Yep. All right. 
Peggy Sue. Yes. I do not have a <laughs> I do not have a knife here. So can you just cut this into the lobster bisque? Sure. Yep. And you can do it with your bare hands, but then you will smell fishy for a long time. Right. Yeah, this is just use the scissors. Yep. Yep. And there's a piece on the floor. We will not use that. Yes. I think this is close to done, but let me contact Nick and Mike. Okay. All right. All right. Good. I think they look very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. On here. That's good. Oh, or they can st they can stay right there. In fact, okay. I'll turn this off, and they okay. can just rest here the whole time. I'll be right back. Yep, that's fine. Let's go back to this vanilla sauce. It tastes so good. I found the recipe online to go with the corn pancakes or whole cakes, H-O-E. And the reason they got that name, which actually makes no sense, is if you did not have a skillet out on the campfire, you could take your hoe that you had out in the with the campfire, dirty and, and, and a dirty hole, and then clean it off and fry your pancakes on that hot hole blade. Of course, you know the size of a hole. You could do one or two at a time, but that's how it got that name. Unless in the 1800s, hoes were just another word for shovel. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I found this recipe with it, and I thought, this will never work. Simmer together. Maybe I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Two cups of cream. Vanilla bean. I use vanilla at home, but it is cooking class, so we'll put a bean in there. A third of a cup of sugar. and six to eight tablespoons of butter. That's it. Cook together 15 or 20 minutes. That's all it takes. And you get this. Yes, it is. Wow. Let me give you a tasting spoon. A couple of you. You will be amazed. Yeah, you've got to do it. They're here. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, I could drink it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like pudding. And to that, we're going to add some flaming bourbon. Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Oh my goodness sakes. They're here to protect us from the flaming cherries yeah. and the flaming whiskey sauce. to make sure everybody was safe today. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's flame some things. <laughs> okay, Vernon will take this out. Oh, I didn't, I didn't thank Vernon Koch for being here. The suit, did I? Yeah. I d see, it's another little spasm. <laughs> Okay. Just take the whole thing out. Just dimp it in it? No. Or you wanted to put that? Yeah, right. We're going to put into this bowl, we'll put a vanilla bean, cinnamon stick, another piece of vanilla bean, some cloves. My grandmother in Minnesota had this can. I keep refilling it with cloves, as I should, right? If I can get it open, of course or not. I'm going to heat gosh I don't know how strong any of these surfaces are. At home I've got old-fashioned formica. Man you can put a steaming scalding red pot on there and nothing happens. OK. 
okay? Turn that up. This is the rum, yep. That goes into the... <laughs> now, maybe I need one of you on each side, just yeah, in case. <laughs> that has to be a bit warm before I try to light it. If it's not warm, it just will not light. You want Mike to open the clothes can for you? I'm sure Mike could handle that. The clothes can, I can open that for you. Oh, yeah, thank you, sure. thank you. <laughs> Yeah, do it, do Mike. it. Mike and Nick. Yes. Tell me your titles. Uh, I'm the division chief. I oversee our prevention and inspection program. Prevention and inspection, okay. <laughs> and I'm the assistant chief. I oversee the administration. The See, we got the, the big yeah. wheel. You're on first name basis with firemen? What is that? <laughs> Just let me know when you want this poured in. I will. I'm going to pour the flaming in there and then we'll put no, put the cherries in there first. Oh God. No. If I knew what I was doing, it would be dangerous. No? Yes. Okay. And those cherries, you can use cherry pie filling, but I actually Ooh, I used the leftover maraschino cherries, the leftover dried cherries from fruitcake and lots of the dark cherries in the can from the grocery store. Okay, I think this is gonna work now. Let's find out. <laughs> you, you, you were ready? We're ready, we're good. <laughs> we'll pour it over the cherries. And then you give it a stir. Where? And that's it. Oh, let's see. How about this? All right. And you do not need to flame the cherries jubilee. <laughs> Is it still burning? Yep. Well, then stir it until the flames are out. That's what we do with flaming, sleeve, flaming coffee. <laughs> the extinguishers, right? <laughs> Don't catch up. And these guys know what to yeah. look for. Okay. Now for the whiskey sauce, we're going to use Jim Beam bourbon. I understand bourbon is whiskey, rye is whiskey, brandy is whiskey. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, all right. When it's cooked down, no worries. And the recipe doesn't even call for the whiskey to go into the vanilla sauce, but I thought being cooking class, you should have some flair here. <laughs> now, I think this is too much fire, isn't it? Might be a lot for the day. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, okay. We'll deal with whatever happens here. All right. We'll figure it out. Thank you guys for No being problem. Here. <laughs> okay. Oh, just a second. I still have to flame oh, it. Yeah, this is the, the whiskey to go into the oh. vanilla sauce. Oh, I'm gonna stick around that. Yeah, and then you can taste it. I don't know if it's warm enough yet. We'll try. No, not yet. It's going. Oh, it's going. it is going. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll turn this baby off. Okay, Vernon. I'll put it in here, and then you give it a stir again. And why don't you use that, yeah. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> Let's hope the Tupperware stands up. You know, we have lots of errors here, but that's the way real cooking is at home, right? Okay. Okay, you each of you taste the whiskey sauce and the cherry sauce. Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead. You're off duty, right? <laughs> yes, we are now. <laughs> the day off. Very good. Delicious. Those are the right words. Make sure you cherry in there. 
Oh, yep. And that's going on ice cream. That's oh, not even better. <laughs> okay, then your other spoon for the whiskey sauce. Did you mix this up good? Nope. <laughs> All the whiskey's on top. <laughs> Excellent. Good. And you do know that this will be on channel 990 in a week or so, Saturdays at 11 a.m. Okay. And also, Scott, where else is it shown? YouTube. 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 And also, we are affiliated with nine other uh, states and 19 stations. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if anybody anyplace else ever watches, but, <laughs> but you know we're syndicated, right? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you're you. Right, I think welcome. we're safe Thank now. You. I, I promise you. not. Enjoy. Did you train them? Yes, okay. <laughs> Vern was my first officer when I started in the department 17 years ago, so he did train me, yes. Okay, good. We've got the chair. We're kind of going back and forth, aren't we? The Cherry's Jubilee we will serve on the ice cream later in honor of George Washington. The corn cakes will be here, and then we will have vanilla sauce or maple syrup. Wisconsin maple syrup, this is made without my glasses. Vern, where is it? The Wanish family? Wanish family, I think it's- Colfax. A, Colfax. Colfax, oh, up toward Chippewa Falls. We can unplug this baby. We can discard this, okay. All right, we've got the lobster in the lobster bisque. Now let's go on to the Manhattan clam chowder. And of course, most of us prefer the New England, the creamy clam chowder. I do too. However, the lobster bisque will be creamy, so I thought we should do the opposite here. And so many presidents in the beginning of our country, well, all of the presidents in the beginning of our country, came from the East Coast. So you know they ate clams and oysters and lobsters three times a week. And you know what we pay for them here. I have bacon, onion, celery, no potatoes. We'll put some stock in here. Remember the stock we made a few months ago? Well, I used all of that stock in this Manhattan clam chowder. But I was out of stock, so I had to buy the commercial. And you're making soup, so you can measure carefully or not. Put in more bacon, more celery, more onion. Potatoes, as I say, I do not have that garbage, right oh. Canned, home canned stewed tomatoes. Now this is um, crushed. If you like it chunkier, you buy the chunkier. Can you open this and put that in there? Now this recipe calls for baking soda. I have no idea why baking soda is in there. Who's the, the chemistry person who, baking soda changes the pH of something? My, Right. My little sister, well, she's only a couple of years younger than me, but she's an old lady, uh, graduated from Eau Claire College, $200 a year including books at that time, right, but lived at home. She graduated with a double major with honors in chemistry and physics, for God's sake, and a minor in English. Can you imagine? Short little curly haired blonde that you know you could tip over. <laughs> but it must have been all brain. Okay, baking soda. So that's fourth of a teaspoon. The stock, the tomatoes, parsley. And I did not dry this, I bought it. Salt and pepper. 
Can you get a bay leaf and put it in here? And then fight with these clams and put it in juice and all. It's handy to have this lift off lid, but you know as you're fighting with this lift off lid, it sprays a little bit and it's hard to keep it flat, right? We all know that. My husband wants to eat egg beaters. For some reason, he thinks that will make it so, which is fine. But it's got that pull off little plastic thing that sprays egg beaters every time you use it, right? We all know the feeling. Maybe if you're a fireman and a lot stronger, it works better. Gentle. <laughs> maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, I am maybe just too eager. Yeah, gentle. I found this at the grocery store, lobster corn chowder and lobster bisque from, ooh, from where? Does it say? Bar Harbor, yep, but Maine. Maine, oh, it is actually Bar Harbor, Maine, all right. Where did you find it? Waiting, it's Waiting, Maine. Or oh, that's where it's distributed by, though. Okay, at, um, at Piggly Wiggly? For lots of money, I think this was like seven dollars. And ours, well, somebody donated all the lobsters, or our lobster bisque would have cost a lot of money because there are eleven or twelve lobsters in there. Yep, yeah, right. Tails. Okay, give that a stir. I'll do a cleanup. Cherry's Jubilee on the ice cream, corn cakes with vanilla sauce or maple syrup, the Manhattan clam chowder will be down there and you can put in the oyster crackers if you want to and then the lobster bisque is over there. Now you're grown adults, I'm not going to call you to eat one, you know, in order. You can start with the cherries, you can start with the Manhattan, you can start with the lobster, but spread yourself out. Mm -hmm.